guys, my name is Gunnar Gems Girl and welcome to episode 10 of episode Mean Girls Senior Year. Last episode, I think, did we have our like our first old kiss with Mika? I think we did. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 10. So it says, your drama with Regina takes centre stage as you both audition for the starring role in Mika's masterpiece. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Greenhorde. So my accidental evening with Mika was the perfect distraction from the weightless tragedy. But by the next morning, reality had set in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tissue? Never mind, I'm all out. You can use your sleeve, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> so I guess Regina got in. She did. She must have. You said it yourself, One, only one student per year is admitted. And if it wasn't me, then... But you got into the Univers University of Evanston, didn't you? Yeah, and I mean, I accepted for now. Fantastic, this sounds like a healthy and positive direction. What? No, I only accepted to be safe. I'm not giving up on Yale. If I get in, I'll back out of E. I'll back out of U of E in a heartbeat. Are you familiar with the term pipe dream? Uh, yes, we are familiar with that term. Are you saying that me getting into Yale is a pipe dream? Sharp kid. I had the definition all wrong when I was your age. What I'm trying to say is maybe it's time to cut your losses with Yale. I can't. I'd be cutting my losses on myself, on my own potential, on what I'm supposed to be. All right, all right, simmer down. Forgive me, I forgot about the whole unknown dad factor. <laughs> but it's more than that. I can't let my mum down again. I lost it on her yesterday when she was just trying to help. I really want to make her proud. How can I turn this around, Mr. Duval? If you have your heart set on it, a waitlisted student should contact the school and ask where she stands on the list. What are you? And the student should request an interview with the admissions department. Did you just look that up on your phone? Yes, yes I did. Busted. <laughs> I'm new at this, okay. It also says, most importantly, if she knows anyone with strong ties to the school, she should do everything in her power to secure a recommendation. <gasps> Is she going to start searching for her dad? So do you know anyone who has some real clout over at, at Yale? Friends, neighbours, friends of neighbours? Unlike some people, I don't have a legacy grandpa whose coattails I can ride until... Oh, wait! Didn't Mika say his dad was a real Yale type? Or maybe she's not going to go look for her dad. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe I was wrong there. Did you think of someone? Um, let's tell him. I think Mika Bergman's dad is an al alum. I don't know how you say that, al alum. Oh, are you and uh, Mr. Bergman close? We have a class together. Well, there might be something there. Look into it. I mean, what have you got to lose? I'll do that. Good luck. I'm going to need it. Hmm, okay. Let's see. So at lunch, I tried to dig up a little info on Mika's dad. Let's see if I can search. If I search Yale and Bergman. Yes, David Bergman. There's an article. Donor. Wait a second. Broke ground on a new building for the theatre department. What? Bergman Hall is named after Mika's dad. Wow, Mika's rich. He could practically wink at Yale and I'd get accepted. But if I ask Mika, he'll only he'll think I only like him to get in his dad's good graces. That's true, he will think that. Katie. Hey, did you hear from Yale? Have you seen Mika? Uh, I think he's in the drama room. He's holding auditions for his masterpiece. Wait a minute. Maybe Mika's dad can see me in the play. As long as my mum never finds out... You look frazzled, everything okay? Um, for the moment, yes. <laughs> yes, but barely. I I got waitlisted. Oh man, that blows. It's okay, I have a plan. Did Regina get in? I think so. Ouch. So what are you going to do? Mr. Duval said I need to find an alum. alum. <laughs> Mr. Duval said I need to find an al alum. <laughs> alum. I wish I knew how to say that. Alum. That sounds like such a stupid word, alum. Alum? 
alum, 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 I'm going to say alum, <laughs> to reach out to Yale on my behalf. And get this, Mika's dad went to Yale. <gasps> Is that really a tree you want to bark up? He's not just a casual alum, but he's a major player. There's a freaking building named after him. I see, but how do I look? Frantic, why? Because <laughs> I've got to go land the lead in Mika's play. Ooh, okay, break a leg or a heart. Whoa, not even a hello. Oh, sorry, Damien. I'm a little frazzled. I just decided to try out for Mika's play. Oh really? I happen to know exactly what he wants from the female lead. I'm auditioning for the top male role and I may have taken the liberty of looking through Mika's director's notes. How about I give you a crash course in nailing this audition? This is going to be gems, isn't it? And I'll get you the perfect outfit to impress Mika. I really need to win this part. Yeah, told you, gems for eight, but we haven't got gems, so no thank you. I'll just take my chances, we best get this part. Suit yourself, let's head to the auditorium, good luck. Thank you all for your interest in participating in the spring play. You all have your scripts. Greenoid, are you lost? I decided I'd like to audition. Okay, you can hop over there with everyone else. Huh? Why is he acting so cold, especially after last night? Regina, what are you doing here? I read Mika's play and it re reignited my passion for acting. It's so brilliant, Mika. That was the idea. What is she up to? What is she up to? All right, everyone. My play is called The Love Delusion, which I wrote and will also be directing. Naturally. I'll bring you up to read in pairs. Greenoid and Dane, let's start with you. First, tell me why you're auditioning. What drew you to the material? What motivates you to create this art with me? Greenoid? Oh boy, if I want this part, I better lay it on thick. Um, my love for acting, your artistic genius. Ooh, your artistic genius. You're a brilliant director, you have a vision, you make bold choices. I want to be a part of that. You really think that? Of course, I appreciate it, but flattery will get you nowhere. What is going on with him? Oh my gosh, am I a bad kisser? All right, Dane, what brought you here? I lost a bet. <laughs> also, I heard that there's a makeout scene. There is a kiss between the male and the female leads. Cool, I like to make out with Regina. Oh, you greenoid, I guess. Charming. You guys ready? Uh, read with Dane, ask to read with Damien. Oh, what should we do? I think that if we ask to read with Damien, they might think that we're awkward. If we read with Dane, we might not do very well. Let's read with Dane. Okay. Yep. <laughs> that was the right choice. Who are you but a shadow of my soul? Where in the depths of my callous, cold heart do you hide? This is pretty heavy-handed. Girl, from the moment we met, you sank your venom claws into... Whoa, I did not write the word girl. I was improvising. No one asked you to. You made it better. Uh oh, Dane. Better? Get off my stage. But I haven't gotten to the makeout part yet. Off. <sighs> Whatever. I made my 20 bucks. Damien, hop in there. Oh, so we got to do it with Damien anyway. Then we made the right decision there. I love the theatre. That was never in question. You guys can start whenever. Who are you but a shadow of my soul? Where in the depths of my callous cold heart do you hide? From the moment we met, you sank your venom claws into my raw trust and you wrung it dry. Damien, let's tone it down a notch or ten. Bernice, let's have you step in. Greeno, take a few moments to really get in character. It's like his affection has completely evaporated. Hmm. Great, now I have to listen to Regina brag about Yale. Hey! If you have something to tell me, why don't you just say it now? Neither of them got in, did they? Somebody else got in, I think. Or well, they've both been waitlisted or something. I have nothing to say to you. You don't have to be rude about it. Why are you even here? Shouldn't you be on a celebratory shopping spree or something? Preemptively squandering your millions. That was so messed up. 
You call that acting? Get off my stage. He's really harsh, Miko, isn't he? Goodness me. Damien, this isn't a musical. Was I singing again? <laughs> and get that camera out of here. Oh, it's Karen. <laughs> it's for my channel. I don't care what it's for. These are closed auditions. What if it's not on Karen Uncensored? It might as well not, as exi not exist. Fine, but stay out of the way. Regina, you're up. Ooh, I wonder if she's going to be any good. You said my play reignited a passion. You have previous acting experience? When I was two, I did a commercial for Frozen Peas. We were nominated for a Cleo. <laughs> she's just rubbing her Yale acceptance in my face. So, Greenard, how are you going to spend your three million dollars? I think you mean Regina. But Yale made her a, wait a waitress. So you win all the money, right? What? Oh, I'm not supposed to tell anyone, so I'll have to cut this part of the video. Back up, Karen. Did she say waitress or waitless list? I don't hear the difference. <laughs> but I guess Mika's dad's a really good tipper because he's supposed to help her out. Oh my gosh. Regina is not here to spite me. She's here to woo Mika too. Both of us are waitlisted. Mika's dad is supposed to be my Hail Mary pass, but Regina is doing everything in her power to intercept. I'll have to tell him to warn him, except I'm just as guilty as she is. Still, Regina's flirting with Mika. Could he actually like her? Is that why he's freaked out by the kiss? Let's run it again. Try it a little more sensual. Oh, I can do that. I can do it any way you want. Oh, it makes my stomach churn. But anything I say to block Regina would leave me completely ruined too. Uh oh. Oh, and there you go. That is the end of episode 10. So I don't know what's going to happen here. Whether whether either one of us, Regina or Queen James Girl, is going to get that part in the play. But we clearly need the help of Mika or Mika's dad to maybe get into Yale. So episode 11, an interview with a Yale, a Yale alum could make or break your lifelong dream. Can you out charm Regina? So that is what what is coming in next week's episode. But thank you guys so much for watching, watching episode 10. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.